Welcome to Comedy Global. India's Sukhoi aircrafts will become super Sukhois if Russia intends and intervenes. New Delhi and Moscow have been in talks with each other about an upgrade for the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, which India first ordered in 1996. The upgraded aircraft, if the proposal is approved, will be known as the Super Sukhoi. The IEF has more than 160 Sukhoi Su-30 MKIs in its fleet, but talks regarding an upgrade have been stuck due to various issues, with cost being the most basic and important factor owing to the IAF's plan to also procure 114 new fighters on limited budget. While the exact numbers are not known, IAF sources have explained that the asking price for an upgrade is too high because it will involve a complete revamp and not just a simple extension of life. A Russian defense industry delegation will soon travel to India to carry forward long drawn out talks for an upgrade of the Indian Air Force's Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fleet. This proposed upgrade will include better radar, a more potent weapon package, a new cockpit system and the integration of electronic warfare abilities. While the Su-30 MKI is the IAF's frontline fighter, it is besieged by numerous issues, among them the inability to carry out electronic warfare and the lack of a more potent weapon system. The integration of about 40 Sukhois with the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, which have a range of over 300 kilometers, has however been a saving grace. As part of the proposed upgrade, the fighter jet's N011 bars passive radar will be replaced with Uttam, India's own active electronically scanned array radar. The MKI version is the oldest member of the Su-30 family, which includes the Malaysian Su-30 MKM, that is a 2007 model, and the Russian Su-30 SM 2011 model. It is hoped that the upgrade will bring the MKI up to par with the Russian SM, which is equipped with multiple long-range missiles and smart bombs developed as part of Russia's 2011-2020 state armament program for the Su-30 SM. Russia is also hopeful that India will move ahead with plans to place an order for an additional 12 Su-30 MKIs to replace the fighter jets it lost to crashes over the years. Further, Moscow hopes to finalize the contract for 21 more MiG-29s meant to firm up the IAF's depleting fleet strength. While the French-made Rafale is the front-runner for a mega contract for 114 new fighters that the IAF is looking at, Russia believes it is only country capable of offering a true transfer of technology TOT with over 60% Indian content. The IAF is considering the acquisition of 114 fighters through the Make in India route. The UAC, a public joint stock company of which the Russian government owns a majority, is the largest manufacturer of aircraft in the country. In June, Russia's flagship manufacturers, the Sukhoi and MiG aviation companies, were merged into the UAC. UAC chief Slusa said, talks are also underway between India and Russia for the IAF's 114 fighter jets program, adding that the MiG is the only aircraft that can truly offer TOT with 60% indigenous content. He was referring to the MiG-35, which Russia is keen to offer India. Asked about a possible collaboration with New Delhi, given India's plan to develop its own fifth-generation fighter aircraft called AMCA, that is Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, the top Russian aviation official said that, although there is no news on that front, Moscow is ready to collaborate if New Delhi so desires. Asked about the pending order for 12 Sukhoi Su-30 MKI and 21 MiG-29s, Slusa said, it was under consideration by India. IAF had plans to purchase additional MiG-29s in 2019. Of the 1980s vintage, the jets are no longer in production. But 21 airframes built then remain in Russia. The jets purchased by India will be upgraded to the latest version before they are delivered. Russia and India are implementing joint military technical operation projects in the deliveries of IGLA S man portable air defense systems and MiG 29 UPG fighter aircrafts, head of Russia's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation, Dmitry Sugov, told TASS 
at the Army 2022 International Arms Show on Wednesday. The following projects of bilateral cooperation are at various stages of their approval. Arranging the production of KA-226T helicopters in India, delivering and setting up the licensed production of IGLA-S manned portable air defense systems, delivering additional sets for the manufacture of Su-30 MKI aircraft, delivering additional MiG-29 UPG planes and delivering additional KA-31 helicopters, the Defense Corporation Chief said. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.